We kind of look like we're all going to a wedding. We do. You're like black the black and white. Frank's like the bridesmaid. I'm like the formal black and I'm white. I'm the uh, officiator. Yes. You're the catering service. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I don't have a big forehead, but this hat's making me look like I do. I am Spencer Cartier. And I'm a mess. <laughs> and this here is Frank, guys. And he's look. Everyone tell Frank down in the comments how beautiful he looks That's today. why I feel like a mess. Yeah. So I have to sit next to him. Sheesh, it only took him, what, three days into June <laughs> to start pulling out the... Uh, the sundresses and the yeah. shades. He's wearing a designer gown. A designer gown. Ga- Sheesh, Frank. What is it? B- a BCBG, I think. Max Zaria. Yeah, BCBG Max Zaria. I'm going to hide the price tag of that because Frank is lavish. Anyhow, um, yeah, from the looks of Frank, you know that we're in a good mood. It's summer is officially here. It's not. Summer is unofficially here. It's a nice day for a white wedding. Doesn't that mean Christmas? Like snow? No. Billy Idol. Um, so white Christmas means snow. Yeah. White wedding means everyone wears white. Like a well, destination June wedding? June is the month of weddings. Is it? Yes. June is like the month for weddings. Really? If you want to get married in June. It's probably more expensive. And you're going to have to... You're going to have to... Reserve in a, yeah. two years in advance. Two, two years? Maybe three years. Maybe because 100 years. We talked about there's only three... There's only four... Three. There's only four weekends in a month. Yeah. Okay, most people are getting married on Saturday. Yeah, so Saturday in June, forget about it. I don't know who you think you are yeah. choosing that date. <laughs> you should be getting married in February. My so responsible people get married. parents got married in January, January 26th. That's another responsible date, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, January, February, maybe November. Yeah. Who gets married in November? I, 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 and I li- I've seen um, fall decor weddings, and I yeah. think they're really nice. Yeah, September, October, November. October, yeah. eh, people like the Halloween wedding. Some people, yeah. No, when I say, yeah, it's like niche, but I'm saying it's niche enough that like you hear about people doing. Right. I want a Halloween wedding. Right. Spooky. Um, and people are very interested in dates. You know, like yeah. I want to get married on, especially now with the years. You know, you can want to be married on the twenty first of the twenty yeah. something twenty two twenty one twenty one or something like that. I tell all the girls I want to get married on February 29th. That way I have three years to kick them to the curb. That's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, guys, what's up? How have you been? Are you enjoying life? I am. June, man. It just, it, it puts something in my, it pumps serotonin into my bloodstream. I don't know. I think serotonin is released in the brain. It releases serotonin in my brain. The uh, sun. The sun? Vitamin D. Ever heard of it? I know. Well. You were saying June. I thought it had something to do with June. Yeah, well, like the sun's around all the time. Yeah, but in May, like, actually, April, it's April shower. It's uh, coming out of coming out of the winter because winter ends in March for us. For uh, for everybody. What about Australia? Yeah, well, they like call like, uh, yeah, I don't know actually. Australia's opposite. Okay, Australia. Sorry if you're watching this, but um, <laughs> all of Australia. Yeah. So the, so I feel like I should be wearing white, like. You, we're all wearing dark colors. I know. That's why I said I feel a mess. But your yeah, your white hat. Like I, I need an accent of white. Where's your white hat? Uh good question. Uh hey guys, bear with me for two seconds. Sing a song while I'm gone. Polar bear. Polar bear with him. <laughs> Sing a song. It's a nice day for a white wedding. Billy Idol, who I compared Machine Gun Kelly to recently, um, and to a Machine Gun Kelly fan, and they took great umbrage and said that they're not alike at all. Close enough, right? I like them both. Um, there I you go. I couldn't find a white perfect. hat. No, perfect. But, um, now I feel like we all got white and black. It's uh, like we it. kind of look like we're all going to a wedding. We do. You're like black the black and white. Frank's like the bridesmaid. I'm like Very the formal black and I'm white. I'm the uh, officiator. Yes. You're the catering service. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was a mess from the beginning. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, guys, we're it's back. It's June 3rd. It's June 3rd. Any holidays well, to know about? It's not a holiday, but um, sometimes they tell you about feast days mm. and uh, saints or spiritual people or people that religions um, celebrate, remember. And there's one that the Catholics and the Anglicans both 
remember, and that's Charles Luanga. Luanga. And his companions. Is that an African name? Yes. They were. The, it's going to say there that it's their, they're the first black martyrs, the first African martyrs, which that can't be true, but I guess documented or something. So they, they, they. So the definition of martyrdom is dying because of your faith. For your faith. So they, in 1886, um, they converted to Christianity. They were murdered because of it. Okay. So. so, yeah, maybe like, I think it's specifically Christian martyr. Like, obviously, right. throughout history, people were dying for many beliefs. Right. But I think, like, yeah, like documented Christian, right. you're a Christian and right. you will be um, put to death unless you say no. And then you're like, you know what? No. Send me to my father. Send me to my father. Send me home. Send me home. I dare you. That's what they said. Well, they would have died anyway by now because it's 1886. And that's a nice thing. And, and you know, the, now they... Yeah. That's why we celebrate them is because... Um, and... They had that faith. Not a lot of people don't have that faith of... Right. I'm going I'm going there anyway and I'm going to go there with a clear conscience right. knowing that my faith is It's a terrible... Labor. It's a terrible, obviously, outcome, but um, it's an inspiring faith to it's have. It's an inspiring faith to have. It's... it's Yeah. And that's why that's we look at it because, like I said, uh, there's a lot of people, understandably, that, that aren't ready to leave this earth and um even though that you know you're, you're full of faith and so to see others who have been tested to the ultimate limit right. of well all you got to do is you know denounce it's like uh it's like braveheart yeah where it was wait no was it braveheart yeah braveheart where it was like all he had to do was denounce the crown yeah and he didn't and you know he screamed at the end he said freedom Because he was fighting for Scottish freedom. And did he lose? Yeah. But right. he never broke. Which lose, means... Lose? Like, in, you know, what, what, in what way we're using the yeah, word lose? Yeah, exactly. Which means, in the end, he truly was free. Right. Free of the shackles. Shackles on my feet. Um, I finally found that song. We talked about it. Yeah, a little late. I, we needed that on the... Guess what? Carabiner I know. podcast. We did need it on the Carabiner... Um, podcast and when i finally found it um on youtube people in the comments were like i have been trying to find this song for seven uh, years really? yeah because um it was like in the 80s i think it was 84 and like it's like a really well-known song on the radio and then when you look it up you can't find it hmm. so um you just said like he didn't want to pledge allegiance to the queen is that what you just said king, yeah king, of king. Course. it was the king at the time of course it wasn't queen she's not that old yeah. <laughs> um did you know that some people still don't know that the song God Save the Queen, America changed the lyrics to be Let Freedom Ring? Oh, so it's the same tune. Did you know that? No. Oh, I mean, okay, now so then I, you can join the people who don't know. As soon as you're saying it, it's like, yeah, like I can hear it in the same tune. Yeah. But interesting. Let Freedom Ring. Yeah. God Save the Queen, Let Freedom Ring. Aha! Take that, monarch. <laughs> So that's um, the thing. Now, are we ready for our day to start? Hey, guys. I'm going to be frank with you. <laughs> Today is not an ordinary day. It's not a Wednesday. It's not a Friday. No. Today's a Thursday. It's Thursday. Which means only one thing. It's walk through Thursday day day. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys, it is walk through Thursday. Oh my golly gosh. You know what we do today? We open up the Bible. We say, hey, Bible, it's been a while. Even though last week we opened up a song. Remember? No. Eric Clapton song. That wasn't on walk through Thursday, though. Oh, it wasn't? That was a fun Friday where we walked Got through you. a song. Gotcha. We used our, our knowledge of walk through Thursday. Okay. So, you know, we open up the Bible, we say, hey, Bible, it's been a while. Now we're going to pick a verse. Yeah. Any verse. And we walk through it. We walk through it word by word. Wait, I like going back. I like going bigger, by bi bigger to smaller. We letter break it down. by letter. No, I like starting <laughs> big and going small. Okay. We Because like, oh, we break it down word by word. 
and sentence by sentence. Like, interesting. Well, I knew you broke it down word by word, but sentence by sentence, like you need to go big hmm. to small. Now, interesting. We just talked about England, um, UK, and America, okay. and how they have "God Save the Queen" and we have "Let Freedom Ring." What we also have is a different way to write our dates, and yeah, they, and we do it wrong. They doing what you want yeah, to do right I now. Yeah, I learned it in uh, in German class growing up was like how to write your dates in in European, and as soon as you found that, well, yeah, you found Explain. out about it. Uh, okay, so um, if you guys are watching this in America, you go. Um, the month, mm -hmm. the day, the year. Right. So you're going for size wise, middle or the middle, small, big. Right. Which makes no sense. And over there, you go day, month, year. You, you go getting so it's, it's the third day, broader of of the seventh or sixth month. Right. Of the 2021st year. Right. It makes so much more sense. So you like that? I like it so much more. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things that we do that okay. makes no sense. So we break it down for you guys, chapter by chapter. Verse by verse, line by line, word by word. word. Inference by inference. Inference by inference. Pen mark by pen mark. Thought by thought. Okay? Okay? That's what we do. Okay. It's a great time okay. to slow down, slow things down, not read the entire Bible and say, I think I understand. We read one or two sentences and we say, we know we understand. Big facts. Skirt. Um, okay. It's a little confusing this week. It's a little confusing this week, okay? Remember <laughs> everything I said about how it was simple? It's not always like that. You don't even know why it's confusing yet. I haven't told you. So, this is not a one-word Wednesday. This it's is not. a This is a walk-through Thursday. It is. Sorry. You're scaring Frank's, me. Frank's bouquet. Um, but... <sighs> oh, God. It's kind of like a one-word Wednesday because um, the the... The, the feeling of the day is purity. Is that why we're all wearing white? Yeah. Mm, I knew. You know what? I had a feeling I needed to put white on. So there you go. So if you guys don't know, um, like for weddings, which Frank is obviously attending tonight, the white dress is white. You know, you ever wonder why are all the wedding dresses white? As an old fashioned like it was not old fashioned. It started in the yeah. olden days. Yeah, and not that old. I think eighteen hundreds. Yeah, yeah, to represent the purity of the unmarried woman, right? Becoming married, right? So it's I like you're you know the father hands off the pure perfect daughter, right? To then be given to yes. Um, but we don't do the whole given thing now. It's um mutual consensual. They still do that in yeah. lots of places, even in America. What do you? I was talking to my friend, um, and. We were having a humble brag, <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about what do you feel about the asking a parent for, um, to marry their daughter? I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like it. I would never do it. Sorry, ladies. I would feel awkward if someone did it to me. Sorry, ladies. You know what? Mm. Because that's where like like she was on the other side, and she was like, "No, like I want them to, like, ask my dad." And it's like, why? Guess what? You you probably have a great family girl girls out there your dad's probably i'll go i'll go on a, on a golfing trip with your dad it's not like oh for but at the same time no offense i'm not i didn't i'm not asking for your dad's hand in marriage right and hopefully like this isn't the first time they've ever heard about you yeah exactly yeah you yeah no good good point <laughs> yeah yeah should should you meet like the parents before <laughs> yeah absolutely it right. shouldn't be like wait you're getting married to who i thought you were single <laughs> right completely get that yeah but as far as a and asking and for the people who are disagreeing with me here's what i want to say i completely understand telling them mm -hmm. if you're like hey if you're if you have that kind of relationship with with the guy and you're on your golfing trip and it's like i think i'm gonna ask jolene right. um, to marry me yeah and then he'll be like oh that's so great yada, yada yada but to say hey i just want to talk to you to ask um, will you give me permission to ask your daughter? And then what if he says no? You're going to do it anyway, yeah? It's crazy. It's nonsense. It's nonsensical. It's let's, crazy. My thing is let's evolve, right? I know. It's like we're trying to evolve. She's not property to be passed yeah, from one so, to so the other. Yeah, so we're trying to evolve and yeah. be more progressive people. But be when things are cute, we keep doing things of, of the old. That's right. Not in my house. Sorry. Okay, back to religion. <laughs> okay. So purity, and you're correct, um, there's thoughts about white representing purity and um even in a in a christening and um 
in our life, we christen babies, not older people, and they wear white gowns. And that comes from the Bible verse that says that the manna was white. Really? Actually, yeah. Huh. Um, in Exodus sixteen thirty one, the people of Israel called the bread manna. It was white like coriander seed and tasted like wafers made with honey. So well, supposedly- Are you going to tell them what the manna is? You can. Okay. So do you guys remember Moses? Yeah, I do. So Moses- I called him Mo. He freed the Israelites from Egypt and they then traveled for 40 years, right? I always confuse the 40 days and 40 nights. It has to 40, be years. It was 40 years. 40 days. If, if they complained after 40 days. No, yeah, because it, it was like the first generation all died and they the ones who complained. So, yeah. And then the kids are the ones who got to the land of milk honey. Anyhow, so they're all traveling with no direction. Uh, just with the Moses lead and saying, we're going to the land of milk and honey. God will guide us. Guide will guide us. I just said. <laughs> God will guide us. And they all started getting a little antsy. They said, this is getting to be too much. Um, we're starving. Is the land in milk and honey death? Because that's the only place you're leading us to. And Moses wasn't happy because he's like, I know I have faith. But he's like, hey, God, like, help me out here. Right. And God, then he said, every morning I will send down manna, which was bread of the heavens. And you can eat till your heart's content. Just can't pocket it. And um, this will happen every morning. And then they ate the manna. And supposedly, it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so that is why um, they say put the baby in the... Now, just off the bat, how do you feel about white representing purity, freshness, and cleanliness? I like it. You like it. I love white t-shirts. Okay. And I have to treat them as disposable because as soon as I get... Oh my gosh, I'm the same way. As soon as I go through one day, I'm going to get... Like, no, one day... It's it, ridiculous. That's long. Like, one hour and then, oh, great. I got a little of um some curry, some Indian curry on my yeah. shirt. And so you couldn't wear this? No. No, I wouldn't even... <laughs> I'm actually scared. Like, I was just taking a sip of soda. I was scared that I was wearing this. Uh-huh. But um, I love it nonetheless. And... That's part of the like reason I like it. It's like when it's so clean looking. Mm-hmm. It's like when you're wearing wearing you know a, a gray shirt yeah. or a brown shirt. You yeah. know you can I can be eating beef stew balanced on my stomach while watching Netflix. Half of it gets on my shirt. Nobody really knows. I know. We have um, in our kitchen um, the worst. I think the worst combination. We have white floors and black countertops. Mm. And. I'd rather you not know if the floor is dirty because you yeah. won't have to clean it and as much. And know when the counter's dirty. And I need dirty. to know when the counter's dirty. Yeah, so you don't touch it. It's like, ah, what do I touch? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so purity. I looked up um, purity in the Bible and they gave me seven choices. Okay. So that's why it's like, is this one word Wednesday? No, we're going to pick a Bible verse. I just didn't know. Here's three. I don't know if you want to p- if you want to pick one. Oh God! I know it's pressure. Should okay. I just pick it for you? No, no, no. Because so wait, what's the first one? It doesn't even have a. It's, where um, it's from. N- numbers five. Okay, well we're not doing numbers. First one. Okay. Um, so do, do, do. Psalm one nineteen, yeah, and then we have a very controversial one, which is um, which is what did I give you, Peter? Yeah. Uh, the classic one of women being pure has to do with their their um appearance which is muchly muchly debated let's do it let's do it guys i I didn't know i didn't know if i was ready for it i'm not ready for it and we don't have long because we chatted so long okay so tell them what it is all right guys we're we're talking one peter three one to three this is a new international version okay so it's good for us it'll make it more comprehensive and we can bang through it here we go wives In the same way, submit yourselves to your own husbands, so that if any of them do not believe in the word, they may not they may be won over without words by the behavior of their wives. When they see the purity and reverence of your lives, your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold or jewelry or fine clothes. Right. So you can imagine that's that's frowned upon by people who say, How dare you? Yeah. 
but I think I think it can be interpreted in a way that is not offensive. Yes. What do you think? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm trying to like trying to uh, just like Okay, so I'll just um as he is getting his thoughts together. Um so we are on 1 Peter 3 and he read three sentences. The middle sentence is the sentence that has the word purity in it. And um it's when they see the purity and reverence of your life, your lives talking to the women. Um that alone is saying it's not that bad i just read it lead by example okay yeah so my biggest thing with the bible is i don't take literally man woman wife okay. husband okay i i think that everybody has masculinity and femininity and i think some in some places you can bring that question into the bible like is this talking about the feminine side of you or the masculine side of okay, you okay interesting and then in other parts i just take it as a um dated thing of it's just talking about one person and other person so really in this per thing it's not like you can treat it as significant other yeah it and even in the end when it's like oh women are the elaborate hairstyles and wearing gold to find jewelry we can switch this right like okay like so like if it's just husbands in the same way you submit yourself to your own wives so that if they do not believe in the word wor word they may be won over without words by the behavior of their husbands when they see the purity and reverence of your lives, your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles or wearing gold or fine gold jewelry or fine clothes. Look at any TikToker. They're, they're all wearing gold and You're fine right. jewelry. You're right. You can flip that. So don't don't get stuck on it and say, well, this whole thing. equal opportunity Bible verse. <laughs> yes. Yeah, seriously. And so and a lot of people, then they discredit what this is saying um, so that uh, you don't read it when there's when there's good stuff in there. And I really think... It's the second part. It, it, so, like, the the beginning goes sort of like, um, if you're, like, it, yeah, it's saying lead by example. So, if, if your significant other or anyone in your life is living the wrong way, you know, like, not not living good spiritual lives or just good lives in general. Love it. Not a loving way. Because you... Not a loving... You told me the whole that if I... Life get caught on words yeah what does righteousness mean what yeah. does purity mean what does reverence mean i don't know what these words mean you told me whenever that happens to me just take it out and put in love because yeah. the bible is boiled down to the word love so if yeah you're like what's it was like you just said if they're not living right you know i i know people are going to pipe up and be like well what's right you're what do you consider right you yeah know? Okay, and now I'm going to go to the end. Okay. And then I'm going to come back to the middle where I think it's most important. A little dance. Yeah, a little, we're doing a little dance here. Your beauty should not come from the outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Mm -hmm. if, if we're sticking with wives, that's a, like, this is, this is a pro-women thing. Like, like, this isn't treating women as objects. Okay. Which you know, a lot of people say or bring up the things where it, right. it does. And it's like, whoa, well, what do you mean you're handing off your daughter and all that? It's like it literally saying your beauty should not come from your looks. Your beauty should not come from you being like all the beautiful things we say women have, which right. is long hair and jewelry. And, and your beauty should be you. Like you so you, are your, they saying, your soul. Can I, can, if I were to have gold jewelry and an elaborate hairstyle under my hat, can I still have it? Yeah. Is it okay? So it's not saying, how dare you? It's just saying that is not. That, that's not going to define you or that's not what's going to lead people. Yeah. And I, I think in this setting in particular, because it's talking about what you should be like to your husband. It's your beauty to your husband. Like, and which which we stand, we, 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 we agree with that. Like mm -hmm. your husband should love you because he. Oh, right. Like, be, yeah. Be, and not because you're a sweet young thing that he looks, that he feels like would look good in the passion seat of his right, Maserati. Right, right. It, and. And that's interesting because we talked about um, marriages where you would get a, it would be a transaction between you and her family. Yeah. And in those types of situations and those types of times, you also would get paid. Yeah. A, 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 what is it called? Dowry. A dowry. So this is saying like, that's not. Yeah. It's, you're not, it's not you're it. not just a showpiece. You're so much more than that. And like I said, if it was switched, it'd be the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're going to go to this part. Which I like because we say it all the time. What do we say? We say lead by example. Right. It's like, okay, if any of them, if any of, of these men or women 
do not believe the word. Okay. So you're a spiritual person and this person is not and they're very earthly. Okay. They may be won over without words. Okay. So that's literally... Don't try to preach to them yeah, day and night. Yeah. If, if you're saying, hey, you, um, live a better life, be or, more charitable. Or you, you better because you know, you yeah. know how people kind of yeah. get scared oh, you're going and hell. then they try to scare you. Yeah. Um, they may be they may be won over without words mm. by the behavior of their wives, and once again, like this this isn't saying. So I mean, at least I'm not taking it as oh, so women have to be these perfect little things while men can just run around and, and we they we, they should expect us to not do it like be the model citizen while they learn. No, it goes both ways. It goes every way. It's, it could even go parentally. Yeah. Right. It can go. That's what, it can go any way, and it, it's you should be leading by example. And when they see, okay, so they're so they're, they're they're won over. They're they're brought to agree with the way you're living, right? By the purity and reverence of your of your life, and and that is what's important. You're because ne- you're never going to win someone over truly, like on a deep connection with words, right. with how good you look, right? With that. But it's when you work on yourself, we say sharpen the axe, you know, right. and you live the best life you can and then have someone say, wait, you're, you're living such a, or you're have such a more fulfilling right. life than I do. Maybe you're doing something right. And if you're, if you're just then stooping, like, okay, well, he doesn't agree with, the, agree with my morals, my stuff. Well, and that's what I kind of said earlier when I said. Oh, well, why do men get to do all, all this, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's once again, it's not a, a gender thing. But no. and if anyone says that about the other person, yeah, the alternative is them both stooping. Right. So you always want to be the model to be represented by. And then guess what? You know, nowadays you're not stuck. So I love this. Didn't think I would, but I do. And what is putting me in mind of is uh, being like a child. Mm hmm. A child of God and how Jesus said, let the little children come to me because that is where the answer is. Yeah. And in this verse, as you're speaking, I'm getting, you're not going to um, persuade people with punishment, mm-hmm. you know, like nagging them or reward, you know, like yeah. these are the earthly things we're talking about, yeah. um, but with purity and reverence. Now, purity, besides that it could be the color white or it could be something, obviously a child is yeah. pure, born completely pure, and then life goes on and they get attachments and yeah. so forth. But um, with purity, so that'd be like to be like a child, and even reverence. Um, you know, children have such awe and um, yeah. hope and belief, uh, which is like reverence. So it's like, you know, sometimes when you're in adult relationships with whomever you're in an adult relationship with, if it is marital or if it's parental or if it's even in at work, each person tries to act older than the, you know, yeah. oh, this isn't high school or act like a man or, you know, yeah. man up a lot. They say this or put on your big girl pants. How about you be like a child? Be like a child. How about you child it down? <laughs> Dial it down. Dial it down. Child it down. Child it down. <laughs> and then, yeah, another thing with this, um, because I, I know talks about the Bible and purity is people take purity as like, you need to be perfect. Right. And I want to just squash that right now. And I'm wearing the robe of squashing. So don't don't attack this Bible verse because someone else told you, well, right. if you do this, you're no longer pure. If you do this, you're no longer pure. Go back to our original walkthrough Thursday. It was a 23rd Psalm. And right in there, it says, he restoreth my soul. That's right. And I truly think that going through life, there's never a time where like you can dirty your soul or dirty your body even. right 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 you're right because it's constantly being restored yeah. so long as you have faith and so if you're living the life like with you know you have faith and you're, you're doing all these good things it doesn't matter what your past is you can still have a pure soul that's a good one and, and so walk forward knowing that and yeah and then you then you want to shine with that this little light of mine i'm oh, gonna let it shine, shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Need a tambourine. Yeah, yeah. Need a tambourine. Um, we can't top that. You can't top that. Guys, that was 
that was walk through thursday everybody we do it every week it's when we break down thank bible for- verses <laughs> sentence by sentence line by line word by word thank you for coming it was a good one you know it was a little spin of the wheel we could have it we could have had two other walk through thursdays but i think we picked the right one i think i definitely had a little holy spirit intuition yes you did for throwing on this white you did that was completely random but yeah uh let us know what you think down in the comments below tomorrow is fun friday it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be friday and it's gonna be the first friday where they're watching it after they've subscribed (laughs) subscribe down below hit that bell notification so you always know when we're dropping knowledge straight knowledge on y'all yeah um peace love prosperity and purity why not (laughs) peace